down. Nah, 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 nah. What's up, Vakeros, and welcome back to the channel. Sometimes it's fun to just get a video out there about a certain class or a setup that's just fun, and it's not really meta, it's not really crazy for anything in particular, except that it's just a hell of a lot of fun, and I just get so much enjoyment out of using it. This particular video is going to highlight just that, because we're going to go over the explosive slugs on the Lockwood 300. If you've seen my videos before on explosive slugs, it's kind of hit or miss for a few reasons. They're not super meta for one important reason being bomb squad just it completely destroys them but the lockwood 300 has some special elements about it when it comes to explosive slugs so we're gonna go over that and we're gonna go over why i think you should at least give it a shot in some of these matches until someone pulls out bomb squad so without further ado let's just get into the video so the first thing i want to do is go over the sort of ranges for the gun because that's always the best thing about these things so for the lockwood 300 with explosive slugs you can one shot to the stomach region and up out to about 18.9 meters now this actually falls short compared to the Bryson 800 by a few tenths of a meter. The Bryson 800 is about 19.3, which is stomach and up. So the Lockwood 300 is falling short there for a little bit, but it gets better after this, I promise. So from about 18.9 to about 62.8 meters, you can still get one-shot chest shots with this setup, which is actually really damn nice. Now with the Bryson 800 in particular, once you get to that 46 meter mark, that's when it stops being a one-shot chest shot, and you have to hit headshots only to get a one-shot kill in multiplayer. The other really nice thing is that with the Lockwood 300, it has an infinite range one-shot headshot. This is something that I discovered recently with Sin.gg, but this is the only slug shotgun or explosive slugs to have a one-shot headshot that extends infinite. Now with the Bryson 800 and Bryson 890 and then the Expedite, they basically end at some point. Now it's pretty long, I will say, like for the Bryson 800, it's about 94 meters, where anything before that, you can one-shot headshot. So, I mean, in most 6v6 maps, it doesn't really matter, but the fact that you can one-shot chest shot out to about 62 meters with this thing with no attachments is actually really damn nice and that's why it's so fun and so effective because it's just like a quick scoping machine for me at least and this is one of the reasons I think it's so powerful in the right hands now I want to address one thing I get asked about a lot and that's why would I use a slug shotgun like this over something like an SPR or a marksman rifle and to that I say there really is no crazy good reason to do that mostly the shotgun slugs are just really fun and niche but there is actually one utility that have and that is that marksman rifles typically cannot one shot to the stomach region that means you have to hit chest and up but slugs like you've just seen do have a one shot region out to stomach which is usually out to about like 15 to 18 meters or so depending on the shotgun so that is one utility they have over marksman rifles but in all other cases yeah a marksman rifle is pretty much better in a lot of ways but come on you got to get the rage reactions right you got to get the reactions from people using a slug shotgun it's just so much fun when people see a shotgun killing someone from 60 meters away and they're like i'm sorry what so that's one of the reasons that you should be using a slug shotgun over a marksman rifle now when it comes to the downsides we've been over this before there's quite a few when it comes to slugs and specifically explosive slugs they are very inaccurate past a certain range so if you're not using a choke or something to help reduce the bloom or, or where the slug tends to kind of veer off to then you're gonna notice you might get some weird like inconsistencies where you're aiming at their head but the slug just kind of veers off and hits someone else's foot or something it's kind of strange so just be mindful of that when you're pushing the ranges on this thing another really important thing is that the muzzle velocity is very slow compared to things like an SPR for example on the Lockwood 300 when we have explosive rounds it's about 230 meters a second as per sim.gg but something like the SPR has a bullet velocity of about 680 meters per second so as you can see there is a big difference there and so because of that at longer ranges it's going to feel like you have to lead a lot more than something like an SPR which is going to feel more like a hit scan so that's another really big downside and plus since it's his slugs you do have to aim down sights quite a bit it's not really a downside it's more just a notice because a lot of people aim down sights anyway but just know that this isn't a normal traditional shotgun you can't just hit fire and get away with it so keep that in mind of course the other major major downside that pretty much just kind of ruins a lot of this is the bomb squad perk because when you have bomb squad equipped or when you shoot someone that has bomb squad equipped it basically negates the one shot kill potential at all i mean on this thing i was checking i couldn't get any one shot kills when the enemy had bomb squad for the life of me and that is a huge huge issue with this and that's why i don't really think it's like super meta like explosive slugs are so much fun and they're so powerful and compared to normal slugs they have more range which is why they're so cool but the downside is bomb squad just 
just destroys it completely. And in my opinion, I don't think it needs to do that. I think that it needs to reduce the damage for sure and maybe make it to where you can't one-shot kill to its normal potential. But I think to completely remove the one-shot kill potential is just kind of obnoxious. But I guess these are just more of a niche ammo type. You shouldn't be using these for anything more than just a laugh or fun. And in that way, they're really, really fun and really, really good. And you're going to get some funny reactions with this thing. But if you're running into someone who's using these against you and they're causing you to be just so annoyed and they're just so annoying just put on bomb squad i promise you that is going to ruin their day and that is the big reason i can't recommend this thing to a super try hard meta kind of person like it's just not that kind of gun i'm sorry i wish it was but you're better off going with normal slugs if you want a little bit more of a competitive advantage but for this come on this is just the more fun route to go now when it comes to the quote unquote best class that's a little subjective right but this is a class i think is going to go good for just your overall slug shocking with this gun as you can see i'm not rocking a barrel and i'm just using a choke that's going to help condense that bloom the barrels are nice they are going to help with your vol velocity and such but since we're playing 6v6 it's not as important i find i mean it helps if you want to use one you can it'll also tighten that spread a little bit so it'll be more accurate but in most of your engagements you want to be a little bit snappier so you can get on target really quick and and I find that this build is generally the best for that. But another really fun build that I like to rock is basically if you just swap out the VOK 7 milliwatt for the 11 inch Bryson special barrel, you are going to have a great time with this. It is a lot more snappy, but it's also still aimable. Like when you use the sweet spot stock, you're not losing a lot of aiming stability and idle sway. But the moment you stick on the high stock mod, you do get blazing fast and you can aim down sights super quick and you're going to be speedy Gonzalez here. But the only problem is that when you move back and forth left and right, man, the sights, the iron sights just fly so crazy all over the place. It's so hard to be really accurate, especially at longer ranges. So I don't really recommend that all the time. It's possible. It's doable. I think I remember seeing on Twitter someone using it very well. So it's possible, right? It's just, it's not ideal. So I would recommend going for the sweet spot stock if you want to be a little bit more precise. Plus, you do get some aim down sight speed from that stock anyway. So it's a pretty good choice overall. As for my thoughts on this gun, I've been having so much fun with it. I've gotten a couple reactions i think something has to do with the fact that it's the lockwood 300 it's the double barrel of the game and it's slugs and they're explosive that people just see that and they kind of lose their minds they, they kind of shut their brain off whenever they see that a shotgun's getting a kill that far they think it's just like automatically just broken and cheesy when they don't realize it's slugs and i don't know why that's the case but it just happens like that anyway so it's a lot of fun especially if you want reactions this is a great build for that it's just a lot of fun in general and that's really why i recommend it just to break up the monotony of the game i know the game is getting a little bit stale for a lot of people because they're just not pushing any updates they've just gone radio silent which is just so sad to see because i love infinity ward but man i just I, we really need some communication here it would be really really nice so if you guys want to try something new out try one of these builds let me know what you think about this gun with explosive slugs in general and with all that being said guys i will see you in the next shotgun video uh, no what the no fuck? way hell a shotgun go down nah, 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 nah.